Hello everybody, this is Dragon Gamer back to kick off round 3 for group E, my favourite group. Right, in this session we are going to see I and Dan going up against Maastrician, then Ur uh, taking a crack at our host Stranger Gamer, and then Dino Hunter going up against Team Europe. Well, our host could be the first combatant to uh, guarantee their place in the knockout round. And you know what, let's let's talk this cheap, let's go on with, our, let's go on with the matches, let's go on with them. Okay then, ooh, interesting, in the Colosseum. In the red corner, for Iron Dan, we have got the Stegosaurus. Stegosaurus coming in with our big, big crypt. Well, if that crypt lands on the Eoraptor, then <laughs> that Eoraptor is going to be extinct. Backing up the Stegosaurus, we got Super Spinosaurus. Oh well, if Super Spinosaurus hits the Eoraptor with the Awaken mode, then Eoraptor will be dead ten times over. This could be an interest. This would be an interesting game. In the blue corner for Mastrician, we have got the Brontokins. Mastrician bouncing back from the first round defeat by getting a very good win over Dino Ember. Dun, 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 dun. Now here's the dinosaur that could be, will be the biggest factor in this matchup, the Eoraptor. And this Eoraptor will have the terrain advantage on this in the Colosseum. Let's see what it becomes. Ooh, it's a Mega Raptor. Is that the sign? Well, it'll have Sonic Blast. I'm pretty sure. Yes, it does. Now that is going to be that is bad news for Iron Dynamo Sonic Blast. That means that every time there's a tie, Sonic Blast will activate. Although, I think, like with Sandtrap, there is a set... There is a cap with how, how many Sonic Blasts can be activated. So that might save Iron Dynamo. Ooh, it's Brontlikin getting the first hit. Well, you know what's coming next. A Cyclone. Okay, Master Shun wants to swap in the yellow. Iron Dan in the red. Oh, here, here comes the Cyclone! Ooh, but here comes a hit from the Steg! Bronthakin's unable to take advantage of that Cyclone. Although, didn't take too much damage. Oh, it's gonna take a big beating from this! Spike Arrows is gonna, well... Is gonna absolutely stick at the Brontokins, literally. Even though most of them missed. <laughs> Ooh, but Brontokins will get the swap out and live to fight another day. And the Eoraptor, when it comes in, will get a hit because it has terrain advantage. And that hit will in fact be a crit. Expect to celebrate with glory. Will it kill it? Because Mega Rap. Because it your. Okay, yeah, it does. <laughs> okay, that's one. Oh, the Mega. The, the Eeyore Rap to get another hit. That's a tie. Well, you know what that means. It's time for some Sonic Blast. <laughs> Wait, what? Think of the Sonic Blast? Rubbish. But the Eoraptor does get another hit. Oh, here comes a Shockwave. Wow, we didn't get the Sonic Blast. Count yourself unlucky there, Master Shit. I'm sorry, Iron Dan, you can't go rock. Uh, wow, this Eoraptor's cleaning up! It's because it's, it's the Mega Raptor. Okay, time for Awaken Mode. Well, any hit will probably one shot it. Ooh, it's a tie! And that's, yeah, that's gonna be Sonic Blast. Oh. This thing does have Sonic Blast, doesn't it? 
Wait, hang on a minute. Why is it not going off Sonic Blast? Well, I and Dan catching a break here. Three times it tried to go off Sonic Blast and three times it failed. I mean, yeah, Master Shun is in the driving seat here because a tie is enough to kill the spider, but I and Dan coming back. Showing a bit of defiance. And yet, yeah, there it is. I think even a crit wouldn't be enough to kill Brontekins with that much health. And it is another win for Master Shun. And a good win for Master Shun there. Looking actually, looking really good in this tournament. You know, after, after the really bad start they had in round one against me, they're looking really good. Right, on to our next matchup. Okay then, in the red corner for Ur, uh, we got Armatus. <laughs> Armatus coming in here with our spectral armor. Okay, we are on the beach, which is, oh, goody. Very good news for me. Okay, backing up the arm at this, we have got Super Spiny. I await the mode on three. Uh, let's have a look. Okay, so yeah, like most people in Group E, they want to swap when HP's in the red. So there's Super Spiny there. There's two from two in terms of defeat so far. It hasn't really happened for them yet. And it, well, they couldn't have asked for a tougher match playing against the hosts. Speak of the devils. In the blue corner for our host, Stranger Gamer, we got the Mega Raptor. Mega Raptor with a terrain advantage. So you know what that means. I get the first hit. Which will be scissors. And this Mega Raptor also has quick strike, so my next move after the terrain advantage will be scissors. Backing up the Megs, we got the Blitz type Tor. Tor I, was about I was about to say Torbosaurus. <laughs> The Blitz type Tarbosaurus. Well, we saw that Blitz effect in the round two against Team Europe, that firebomb. Basically blew the iguana on the bits. Skip. Okay, so first things first, get this terrain around the game. Oh, get a quick strike anyway. Well, hey! Boosh! Okay, got quick scissors ready. Boosh! Alright, let's see if Ooh falls for it this time. Oh, they do! A strong start from our host, but not a good start for Ooh. Bashing the artless away. That quick strike's doing severe damage. Come on, Ooh. I, I have faith in you, Ooh. You can do this. Ooh, it's a tie. Well, have I ever rooted against myself? It's not like rooting against myself, I just feel bad for people who don't win matches in my tournament. I'd like to see people get at least one win, if you get what I mean. And, well, um... I don't think Ur's gonna get that win today! Oh, there goes Armatus. Okay, got the Awaken mode. And this Spiny does have the type advantage over the Tarbosaurus. Not all doom and gloom for Ur. This needs to get rid of the Mega Raptor. Ooh, is a crit? Is a crit? Uh, coming back into this, the tie bombs will help as well. Three seems to be the default for most people for the awaken mode. It's just a very well-rounded number. Ooh, that did loads of damage. I think it'll be time to swap. Oh, but the Dino Illusion getting triggered there. Okay, that's twice. I it'll be time to swap. Well, now it'll definitely be time to swap. Ooh, tie spam would definitely help Ur here. Okay, they'll take that though. They get the hit, get rid of getting rid of that Dino Illusion, and getting a cheap shot on the Tarbosaurus and stopping Mega Raptor from swapping out. Oh, well, after a strong start from our hosts. Oh, hang on, wake a mode. <laughs> almost, almost bucked it up there. A tie here, I think, puts Ur in the driving seat. Oh, that's not good for Earth. The neck crusher coming in. The host getting back on top of this match. And yeah, that's probably game over for Earth. I mean, the Mega Raptor can't swap out. 
but the Tarbosaurus comes in, will go for scissors, it's gonna go for a crit. Okay, can we at least kill the Mega Raptor? Come on, Ur, I have faith in you. My faith is dwindling. And, oh, there it is. Game over for Ur. And that's a bonus point win for our hosts. And that will put Stranger Gamer well clear in Group E. And that will pretty much guarantee entry to the last 32 round. Well, put it this way. I think I'm on 11 points. <laughs> Nobody has ever been knocked out of a group stage finishing on 11 so yeah about 99% sure I'm going for it but as for uh, well um, not good not good at all right on to our final match of this session right this ought to be interesting oh well that's um, oh no it's, it's not the sunset beach field but it's still good news for Dino Hunter in the blue red corner for Monsieur Hunter we have got the Spinosaurus Dino Hunter got off to a good start against Iron Dan before kind of buckling against Master Shun. Backing up the spine, no, we got the Allosaurus Atrox. So not only will this could this Atrox have type advantage over the Iguanodon, but it also has terrain advantage. Could that be key for Dino Hunter to bounce back after defeat? In the blue corner for Team Europe, we got Megalosaurus. Team Europe licking their wounds after defeating round two against our hosts. Our beautiful hosts. And both of these two combatants are currently on three points, so a win would help give them will help give them strengthen their grip in the top four to qualify from this group. And I think I think whoever wins, I don't think it'll be a bad outcome for Uya, because whoever loses will be on three points and and will be very much catchable. And I think Ur is playing Dino Hunter next, so maybe Team a uh, Team Europe win would be better for Ur. You know, I'm just giving Ur some hope. All right, no terrain advantages here. Let's generate some moves. Both combatants want to swap when HP's in the red. A win here for Dino Hunter though will definitely strengthen. His grip on the top four. And that's a very good start from Monsieur Hunter. A crit and a crit block to come. Okay, that means Monsieur Hunter will be going for paper. You can't go scissors. Yes, right, you've got to go paper. <laughs> oh, time to swap the team you're up. Ooh, not getting the swap there. Ooh, not getting the swap either. Oh, on the brink there. Oh, no. No swap in for Megalosaurus. The tie's doing the job for Dino Hunter. And in comes the fragile little Iguanodon. I on. Pause it. I scoffed. Okay, so that's scissors. Okay, so it's another tie. <laughs> Generate the moves quicker, stranger. Oh, finally someone gets a hit, and it's Dino Hunter. Dino Hunter in a commanding position, and remember, actually, that Atrox... Actually, yeah, Dino Hunter's won. That's it. That's game over. No matter what Team Europe does, Dino Hunter's gonna win this match. And I'll tell you why. Because the Atrox could, will come in. Even if the Spino dies, the Atrox comes in. And that Atrox has terrain advantage which means it will hit a Guanodon with a crit, and it'll have type advantage as well. Let's see if Dino Hunter can get the bonus point. Ooh, there's a tie. Bonus points crucial in the group stage. Oh, but Dino Hunter's not gonna get one in this match. And Aerotrox is gonna get hit, but as I said earlier, it's already game over. Dino Hunter's already secured the win. It was just a matter of can they secure the bonus point, which they can't. So there's the terrain advantage playing out, and it is Aloat trucks landing the crit on the Iguanodon to finish the job.
and that's, that could be a crucial result for Dino Hunter getting three points there. Starting to believe, perhaps. Well, they won't convince me until they beat a notable opponent, i.e. an opponent that's actually done really well in previous tournaments like got to a semi-final or a final, or someone who's won, like me. Right, let's have a look at the group, how Group E stands and we can end the session. Well, there you have it. Our hosts being the first combatant to officially book their place into the last 32 round on 11 points. Eight points clear of Iron Dan and Team Europe. But enough gloating about how amazing I am. We have Maastricht and storming up to second there with a win over Iron Dan. Was it Iron Dan? And then Dino Hunter in third place on six points. Having a decent tournament so far. Well, they're doing a lot better than they did last time and the time before. <laughs> so, yeah. Dino and are looking strong in this tournament. Could they be outsiders? We have Iron Dan in fourth. And well, and Iron Dan and Team Europe level on points. I think they have yet to play. Yeah, they play each other in round five. That, that could be a massive game. And then poor old Ur at the bottom with Zip. So yeah, let's see who's playing in round four. So as I said earlier, round four, we'll see our host Stranger Gamer taking a crack at Iron Dan. Team Europe going up against Master Shun. And then Dino Hunter going up against Ur. So yeah, interesting here. So I think if if our host and Master Shun win in round four, that gives Ur an opening if they can beat Dino Hunter. Because these two will be stuck on three points. And then Ur will get three, well, at least three points if they beat Dino Hunter. And yeah, th then it could all come down to round five, where Ur has to go up against Master Shun. So yeah, at the minute. It looks like these three are going to go through. Well, I'm definitely through. I mean, they ain't catching me. But I'd probably say these two are nearly there. I'd say they're 80% through. More Mastrishan than Dino Hunter, because Mastrishan has the bonus point. But yeah, I think one, well, one more win for either of these two will do the job. And then as for these three, well, they just need to hang in there and hope they can snatch a top four. But yeah, that's going to end this session here. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like. And until next time, ta-ta!